Thank you. God bless you. If we read uh, Ephesians 6. Six. Six from verse 11 to 14. Let's read from verse 11, Ephesians 6, 11 to 14. Please, I want us to read there. Verse 14. It says what? It says what? I want us this verse to, I want to read this verse for you. Put on God's whole armor. Amen. That you may be able successfully to stand up against all strategies and the deceits of the devil. Amen. For we are not wrestling with flesh and blood. As you can see there, it says, not flesh and blood. But it says, contending only with physical opponents, but against the spirits, despotism, against the powers, against the master spirits who are the world rulers of this present. Can you see the verse? Oh, bani chapa no ya re na gasiya ulwa le mandili nama re ulwa le mi buso le ba mata le ba laula mafasi le ba le sui sui re ulwa le me ya ya bobi ele gosi ba kabake ngisako dimo. You can read verse thirteen, but I want to read fourteen. It says, "Stand therefore, stand therefore, or hold your ground, having tightened the belt of truth around your loins, having put on the breastplate." the breastplate of integrity and of moral re rectitude and right standing with God. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You know, I've been reading this the whole day today. Even when I was in the office there, I found, I found from verse 11 to 14, there is one thing that God is speaking with us. To stand. Yes, to stand. Tell me, you must stand. Stand your ground. Can you say stand your grounds? Hallelujah. Amen. So that's what we want to talk about today. You can check there. The first thing that is found is to stand against. Number two is wrestling. You understand that in wrestling, one person must fall down, but one must be standing. So, still, is standing. The third one is stand your ground. And the fourth one is stand family in your place. Meaning that holding your ground to stand with God. Holding your ground. I was reading this, I realized that it is true that the Bible says they are wives of the devil. Meaning that whatever that devil is doing is there to put us down. Is there to make sure that we are not standing. When we resist and stand our grounds, we create a figure which is needed. God wants us to stand. Therefore, it means there are many things that will be happening. To I have read scriptures I found. I found that standing in the Lord. It's not easy. Same applies to stand like this. You, you know, there are some people like me. I can't stand long like this. Stand, stand one place like this. I love walking. So there are others who can stand. They stand by anger. Others, they stand. They stand when they are standing. But you can see them standing dealing with their legs. But like this, they feel cramps. So standing has never been an easy miracle. 
So he who stands. There are many forces against him. To make him not to stand. It's possible to stand. But not standing the way is needed. Still, you're not standing. You, you can stand like this, but you're, but you're not standing. You can still stand like this. It's as good as you are tolerating. But... So, God wants you to stand. Are you hearing me? So, when the winds blow, you stand. When the problem comes, you stand. Whatever devil is bringing on you, you stand. From today, I see you standing. I see you standing. How many of you want to overcome whatever that is coming? It's when you are able to stand. Let me prophesy you. You are going to stand your ground. In Psalm 24, from verse 3 to 5, I love that Psalm. It says, let's read there. Psalm 24. Psalm 24. That's why I'm standing. I'm seeing problems, problem, but I'm standing. Psalm 24, verse 1. No? Psalm 24. From verse 3 to 5. I want you to. Just check there. Who shall go up into the mountain of the Lord? Amen. Or who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted himself up to falsehood or to what is false, no son deceitfully. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and righteousness from God of his salvation. You can see that God still wants us to stand his ground. When God creates the atmosphere <inaudible> of his righteousness, <inaudible> there will be some things that <inaudible> will come <inaudible> to make the place unholy <inaudible> so that you won't stand. <inaudible> because whatever that is unholy <inaudible> affects our standing. <inaudible> so the Bible says, he who can <inaudible> stand <inaudible> in his mountain, <inaudible> in his church, <inaudible> who, who can stand in <inaudible> his church. <inaudible> and the Bible talks about the person of God, a clean heart, clean hands. Who does not talk what he does not do? When he's shown, he speaks and he does it. When he says a child of God, he proves to be a child of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says he shall be a blessing. Oh, he will receive a blessing. Because you become a blessing by, by receiving a blessing. Listen to this. Everybody can come to church. This is the holy mountain of God. That's where God visits. That's where God speaks. That's where you meet with your God. In his holy place. It is not easy again to stand. Because already there are creeping things that has entered the church. The holy place must be declared holy by us standing as God wants us to stand. 
Things will come to fight the holy place so that the holy place will look holy. But Christians must stand. That's what my friend. I want to stand in the house of God. We need Christians that the situation will come but they will be able to stand their ground and say we are still Christians. We are seeing what we are seeing but we are not turning back because of what is happening. The Bible says you shall receive a blessing. A Christian who stands is a Christian who is blessed. Can I say it again? A Christian who stands is a Christian who is blessed. Challenges will come. Troubles will come. Shame will come. Poverty will come. Whatever that will come, stand your ground. I need Christians who can stand today and say I'm standing. I don't care what devil is saying. I don't care what devil is doing. I'm standing my ground. I'm carrying on my way. I know every wind will come but it will pass. Shake somebody and say hey. I see what I'm seeing. But I'm standing my ground. You shall receive a blessing. Can you say that a Christian is entitled to be blessed? A Christian is born to be blessed. But as he's born to be blessed, when he's in the church, he will be questioned. There are things that will happen to him that people will say he's not blessed. But still the Bible says he will receive. Why the Bible say he will receive? It means presently in his hands is empty. I don't know if you're hearing me. A Christian who's standing might be standing because something is coming to his hands. I don't know if you're hearing me. If you're standing like this, the wind blew. People just say share. Sickness comes. People say, I will share. You are dying. Leg comes. People talk. You are standing. But as you are standing, the Bible says you will receive what? A blessing. You will, you know, you will be called your blessed because of what you have received. That thing you are waiting, I prophesy to you, that blessing is coming in the name of Jesus. If you believe, shout hallelujah. How many of you are waiting for the blessing? Stand, stand, stand. Stand, stand. Hallelujah. Amen. In Psalm 1, verse 4 to 5, verse 4 to 5 the Bible says, the wicked and sinners won't stand in the congregation of the righteous. You know what the Bible is saying there? It says, it says though you come together. But there are those that will fall. They won't last where God is. There are Christians that will stand forever. But the wicked and sinners, they won't last, they will fall. I don't know if you're hearing that. So you must check your attitude. You must check your character. Because even if you are saying you are in the church, you must know what will last. The wicked and the sinners won't stand. They will be in the house of God, but they are falling. They will be praying, but they are falling. You Christians, when they are falling, you are right. I see you rising today. The Bible says, Arise and shine. It is your time to rise up. Hallelujah. Shake somebody and say, Hey, I will stand and my enemies will fall. I'm sure you're hearing that. In Proverbs 12, verse 7, I love that one. The wicked are overthrown and are not. But the house of the Russians shall Amen. stand. Amen. Can you see that verse there? Yeah, it's Proverbs 12, verse 7. Proverbs the 12, wicked verse 7. are overthrown. So it means there are things that will come to fight you. There is a wrestling. But there are those that will be defeated. Listen to this. In the kingdom of God, wrestling is, you know, a figure 
that always the Bible will try to show you. You know, you will be taken the way you are without bruises or blood following. following but taken down. And you find that someone is standing up. Are you hearing me? So the way you are, it won't be changed. But you will be put down. You will be overthrown. To be overthrown, it means you are defeated by a situation or certain defeat or demon or whatever or where you are working. Somebody overthrew Overthrow means you are conquered. You are down here and you are limited. And you are told this is your place. But you can still dream somewhere there but you can't go there. Because you are overthrown. Overthrown it means you are given a position that makes you to be undermined. To be overthrown it means you are set in a level where it does not please your heart. But today I want to tell you as you will be receiving a blessing you will rise and go up to a level of your heart desire because your God is aware and is lifting you. Do you know that in the church we have the wicked and sinners you are sitting here your girlfriend is sitting there girlfriend is sitting there that you are in the church. So the moment when we say you are receiving blessing, you show your girlfriend. Say, yes, yes, yes. Hey. Yeah. You are not hey. 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 When I say stop jolling, I get a long on You hide from your girlfriend. Little more, girlfriend. Your girlfriend, girlfriend, in your house, sees you when things. Of placing here are being spoken. But the moment we speak your sin, you disappear. So though you look like you are visible to the girlfriend or boyfriend, or girlfriend or boyfriend, you won't stand for a long. You'll be overthrown. You know, we are in a church nowadays. Whereby no one will ask you, what is it that you are doing? You just come to church and you can sing there, you can do whatever. No one will stop you and say, why are you doing this? You can carry on with your sin or you are wicked. But the Bible says, you will be overthrown. Are you hearing me? You will come here and show us you are defeated. Let me try to tell you what God will do. From this week, Christians will rise up to a higher level. There is nothing that will put you down. I see you rising. I see you rising. I see you, rising. I see you taking your position. It's the right time for Christians to take charge, to take over, to move forward. I'm here to tell you as a Christian, you are overcoming your enemy. If you believe, shout hallelujah. So a Christian must check if he is standing or not. If you read 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 12, 10 verse 12. ask someone, are you standing? 1 Corinthians 10 chapter 10 we'll read verse 12. I'm sure verse 12. Then verse 12. Therefore, let anyone who thinks he stands who feels sure that he has steadfast mind and is standing firm, take heed lest he fall. You know, usually when we read this verse, we, don't, we, we just go to 13. We talk about temptation. But we can check number 12 there that, that that verse is saying we must check our standing. 
We must not guarantee that this is final. Why? Because temptation Why? will come. On verse 13, temptation will come. Are you hearing that? Amen. Temptation will come on verse 13. So he who said he is standing, temptation can still come. But he must know that God will open his space for him. Because the moment when you say you are standing, it's not final. Are you hearing me? Every day you check. You check. You check if your standing is of pride. I was telling somebody this. The person will say, God has blessed me so much. Uh, I say, my brother, don't talk too much about that. And don't talk that when you have got poor people around you. Just encourage them that go bless but them. them. But don't, but don't talk about your progress. progress. I, I already have progress. I, said, no. I began to show him. I said, come and see. I say, how much are you paying this car? He said, okay, 7,000. I said, oh, 7,000, okay. What about the house? He said, 10,000. Okay. I said, okay, what about this? Furniture? I said, if you lose the job, what about this house? Are you going to he realized that he doesn't have anything. Are you hearing me? If you don't check your standing, you can have pride by what is not yours. Let me say it again. If you don't check your standing, you can have pride by what is not yours. And you will try to show people how far you progress. So temptation will come to check, are you sure you are still the same person who said God has blessed you. Remember you talk about the car. Now you don't have a car. You, you talk about a house. Now you don't have a house. Can you see that God, you can talk about it better when you have got a bond house. The moment you lose that house, your stand there is being checked. We are some people here, but things are moving well, but the question is, is, if you lose what you are having, are you still going to stand? Because your stand must be checked when the things you desire are no more. Don't talk about, hey, you know, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Uh, yes, you are blessed, but you can still lose what you are talking about. Remember the Bible says, you will receive a blessing. A blessing is not material. It's what makes you to receive material. So if you lose them, you didn't lose what makes you to receive. There are some people here, you are losing, you are losing. But thank God, you still have a blessing in you. When the old things is going, the new thing is coming. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So, don't no, no. judge yourself by what you are losing. The Bible is in the house of God. Now God is making you a pillar in the house of God. Yes, you can lose that car. You can lose that house. You can lose your neighbor. You can lose your friend. You can lose your mom. But you didn't lose anything. Are you hearing me? You can still talk as if you have them. You can still stand up okay, with confidence and say, I can still see there is Goliath in front of me, but I can overcome this Goliath. We need Christians who are standing. Many divorces were based in wrong things. Somebody just lose a job. The respect goes away. From there, divorce comes. Because marriage was based on money. So when you see them standing, you think it's coming from God. Can't you see money? 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 Can't you see money?
We need Christians who can stand their ground. Who can say, I don't care. What, if we can lose what we are losing. But I don't care. Remember Job's wife. The Bible says, when he had boils all over his body, the wife said, Cast your God and die. You know what the wife of Job was saying? I say, if you die, I'm good to marry another one. Because she was not, I mean, I mean, good in the life of poverty. So, the moment Job loses everything, she could not stand the ground. She said, no, 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 no. This man must die. Cast your God, cast your God. Die. In other words, she was saying, even me, I'm not even standing with your God. If God was blessing you, why can he allow this situation? I don't know if you're hearing it. There are some people here, you are facing what you are facing. I'm here to tell you, stand your ground. You have not lost anything. There is a blessing in you. The Spirit of God has brought blessing in you. It cannot be stolen. They can steal your car, but they cannot steal your blessing. They can steal whatever, but they will never steal what God has given you. From now on, you will move forward and reach where you are supposed to reach. You are entitled to go forward and take over what you want to take. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Say, I've got a blessing in me. And I'm standing. And I'm not falling. Can you say it powerfully? I've got a blessing in me. And I'm not falling. There is something that, that has rooted me. And I'm not falling. The winds will come. Shame will come. Poverty will come. But I will stand my ground. And I won't fall. Why? Because I've received the blessing. This year, this year, you will prove your enemies wrong. Say, I'm standing. Can you see when temptations will come? Problem coming. Sickness coming. Don't curse God. Because whatever you are facing, it's asking you, are you sure? You are are you sure? You could not meet that when you are falling. The dead man, it doesn't know whether it is cold or hot. But because you are alive, there will be colds. There will be a heat. But stand your ground. As I stand your ground. You can go there and there. Like a tree that is very weak. You can lose the leaves. But by the right time of the fruits, the fruits will come out. I don't know if you're hearing me. Lose that leaf. Allow the right fruit to come. I profess you. What you have been waiting for is coming to you in the name of Jesus. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I feel the anointing that is telling me that there is somebody who has lost friends, lost neighbors. You are alone. There is nobody around you. But because of the blessing, they can leave you. But you are not forsaken. Jesus says, Lord, I am with you until to the end. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. Stand your ground. The wind is passing. The storm is going. The rain will leave. Stand where God wants you to stand. Stand in the righteousness of God. As you are standing, you are overcoming. As you are standing, you are moving forward. As you are standing, you are taking over. Some people think you are falling. Because they know what you've been facing. But God says to me, I must tell you, your problem you've been facing, though you were checked, those problems are over. I said they are over. I said they are over. Say they are over. My problem is over. My problem is over. 
My challenge is over. My challenge I'm standing my ground. I'm standing my position. I'm in my office. Nobody can remove you. We need Christians who are saying, as I enter this office, nobody can remove me. Can I prophesy you? Your time has come of entering a white office. Nobody will remove you. Nobody will remove you. Say, I'm standing my ground. I'm standing my ground. I'm standing my ground. I'm standing my ground. There is a problem. But I'm standing my ground. There is sickness. But I'm standing my ground. I'm losing money. But I'm standing my ground. I've got a blessing in me. I overcome. But the same problem I'm having. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sit down. You know, when I come to this, I feel like I'm crazy a little bit. Can I tell you why? Because sometimes God can leave you in the dark. But he's looking at you. Because the Bible says the eyes of the Lord are on the faith. Are you hearing me? When the dark covers you, that doesn't mean that God is not looking at you. He can see the dark. He can allow any challenge. But no challenge will destroy your life. I don't know if you are hearing me. How many of you are standing? How many of you are standing? I profess as you are standing. Receive that blessing. As I 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 receive that blessing. I see somebody receiving a car. You have lost a car, but you are receiving a car. You have lost a house, but you are receiving a house. You have lost that house, but you are receiving a mansion. Say, I'm standing, and I'm not looking back. I'm standing, and I'm not going back. I'm standing, and I'm moving forward to reach my destiny. Sit down. Do long fast. Sit down. Can I prophesy? Eric le prophesy. Huh? Ah. Can I prophesy? Can I prophesy? By the time of Moses. Can I go to Moshe? Moses did all miracles. Moshe did all miracles. But there is one miracle that makes me happy. When you do miracles, the magicians will also do the same. But you know what he did there? He came and he said, Pharaoh, there will be boys all over Egypt. The Bible says, he went away. When he went away, he reached a place where he will meet magicians. The Bible said the magician could not stand because they had boils. The magician could not heal themselves because they had boils. The magician could not stop those boils. He was Standing alone. But they could not show up. Can I say this? Whoever is fighting your position. This year. Won't stand. With you. I say won't stand. Against you. Listen. They will face challenges. But you will be celebrating. God wants to magnify you. In front of your enemies, they will have boils, but you will be celebrating. I said they won't show up. You will go for interview, but they won't show up. They will call you alone with them, but when they come, they will turn from the road because you will be the one. Nobody will be able to challenge you. They won't show up. Those who are taking tenders, you will find you are alone. I say you are alone. This time they won't show up. I don't know if you are hearing that. Too. They won't show up. 
You'll be alone to take the business. You'll be alone to buy that house. You'll be alone. No one will be able to compete you. As you are standing your ground, he who competes you will fall for your sake. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I don't see anybody this week until next year who will compete you. Nobody will compete you. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Say I'm standing my ground. Stand your ground. Say I'm standing my ground. Say I'm standing my ground. Say I'm standing my ground. He who wants your position won't show up. When you want to buy a car, you are still going to find it until you get the money to come and buy it. Nobody will buy it. I say, hey, nobody will compete you. I say, nobody will compete you. The house you saw, you are taking it. I say, you are taking it. I say, you are taking it. Keep watching Cherry's 24-7.